Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the important questions regarding the sensor and signal conditioning. The thing is uh, this um, subject has no previous papers as of the uh, documentation. So the thing is we have to go through all the concepts and form what might uh, be asked in the exam based on the uh, other exams what we have um, appeared for. So uh, that's what I did. Uh, so you can go to the link, there is a, um, a name called as 6M. In that the link is given right so go to that link and you will find this folder here okay 18 ec 652 so here the textbook i have downloaded you can uh, go to this textbook i'll be referring the textbook here okay so the textbook will be referred here and i'll be telling you in which page number what answer is present what are the key points you need to write so i i, have, I literally have no idea regarding what are the uh, actual things present in that but just i'll be giving a brief overview of what are the diagrams you can make and what is the uh, top overview of each of these concepts okay so uh, the uh, co actual question bank which I am uh, uploaded is uh, present in the uh, super important folder. In that uh, there is a file called as sensor super important. Okay, so in that the module uh, one and uh, all the modules I'll be uploading um, as soon as I make that. So the uh, the folder which you can find here, this you have to open in a separate device. Okay, this folder you have to uh, open in a separate device. I'll be looking the, uh, this uh, from a separate device and I'll be referring the answers uh, in the textbook okay so uh, before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay if i have any doubt uh, ping me on instagram my id is given here okay <clears throat> so let's get started uh, from the module one the first question is so in the module one let me tell you the brief for you you are uh, going to study about the sensor based uh, measurement systems okay uh, you will be um, how do you measure things okay about that you will be studying and by using the sensors how you will be measuring that will be studying in this uh, chapter so two things are there uh, the chapter one is about the sensor measurement the second is the resistive sensors okay so uh, i can open the textbook now so i'll be also opening the textbook okay so in the textbook you have to go to the uh, page number 11 okay in the page number 11 uh, you can find out the first question which is what are the transducers sensors and actuators okay what are sensors, uh, transducers and uh, actuators? So basic definition you have to write. So transducer is, I guess it's converting a signal from one physical form to the uh, corresponding signal having different physical form. So basically what it uh, does is, see the time is very limited. You just have to remember the key points. There you have to expand, okay? Uh, so uh, what is a transducer it is a device that converts one physical form to another physical form that's all what is a sensor if whatever you know just skip it sensor means it sends something that's all actuator what it does it actualizes something or uh, something related to that means it uh, makes something as which is not um, working as working okay like that's something you can write okay that is about the actuators the next one is what are uh, primary sensors the primary sensor is present uh, present in page number 45 okay about the primary sensors if you go um, so you are com coming to page number uh, 45, you will uh, get the second question which is primary sensors. What is primary sensor? It is a sensor which is primary. Okay, it converts the measurements from physical quantity to other form. Basically, very briefly, if you have to go, uh, if you go through it, you will get a uh, brief idea regarding what is primary sensors. See, see what is primary means it is the first level, secondary means the next level and next level and so on, high levels. But primary is very primary. What is the least thing required to sense something? That's what it's given. So you can uh, make this diagram, there are metals here. If something change happens, the metal will detect that. Like that you can write. By uh, using the temperature you can detect or by using the pressure you can detect. See, by reading the name itself you can get some idea, right? By that you can expect in your own words. And what are there? Uh, flow velocity, flow rate. So what is the rate in which the flow is happening? By using that you can sense something, right? So there are many other you can go through it. Uh, so that was about the primary sensor. The third question is the sensors classification. You can find in the page number 14. So if you come to page number 14, okay, page number 14, there are sensors classification. What are sensors classification? Active sensors, analog sensors, passive sensors, and digital sensors, quasi-digital sensors. By the name itself, you can understand many things, and you have to explain a few in your own words. Deflection sensors, null type sensors. Okay, just read one page. It will take you hardly two or three minutes. You'll get to know what are the different types of sensors. Okay, so if you ask an exam, you just have to write that one. The next question is, what are materials for sensors? How do you sense the uh, things? What are the materials required so that you can be able to sense the things? The three materials are conductors, semiconductors, and dielectrics. Conductors which conduct electricity, semiconductor which sometimes uh, conduct and sometimes do not conduct. Dielectric is an insulation material. Okay, dielectric is an insulation material. More information can be found here. Okay. <clears throat> Next is what is micro sensor? Uh, it's present in page number seventy. Okay. So what is micro sensor? Is um, it is a sensor which is very small, right? Prepared according to the nature, the desired sensing principle. So it is intended for very small amount of sensing. That is known as micro sensor. In that you have to explain three things, thick film, thin uh, film and uh, micro uh, matching. So thick film can be found here. The film which you use is very thick. In thin, thin film, the, thin, uh, the uh, film which you use is very thin 
and micro matching is micro machining okay so there is a micro machine which is uh, present at the micro level and that has a sensor also which sense what are the changes happening in the uh, velocity uh, sorry voltages fine so that was the about the first uh, module these questions are uh, like uh, i thought uh, that uh, could be asked because uh, those were the type of questions that are usually asked in exams okay next one is resistive sensors the second chapter is resistive sensors you have to come to page number uh, 122 okay if you come to page number 122 there you will find uh, light dependent uh, resistors you got to make this diagram when light comes okay when light comes it is uh, dependent on light and the resistors will happen okay like that something it is there i am not sure what it is but something related to that you have to make this diagram and write what is light uh, light uh, dependent resistor basically what you can do is google this topic watch one or two minute video regarding that whatever you keep in mind don't spend more than one or two minutes that's all fine so it has some uh, encapsulation in transparent plate it has a formula e is equal to h into f where h is uh, planck's constant and Some characteristics are given. So few information is given. That's all what you have to write about the light dependent resistors. Next one is what are resistive um, hygrometers? What is resistive hygrometer? So hygrometer, uh, I I guess it uh, uh, measures the humidity because I can see humidity many times written here. So it measures the humidity using some uh, resistance. Okay. So I'm not sure regarding that. So the information can be found here. You can go through it. Make some diagrams as well or the graphs. Okay. Uh, make some graphs like this up down. Okay. Then we have the next one, which is uh, resistive gas sensors. So gas sensors, how do you sense, sense the things using gas? That is called as resistive gas sensors. So there is some resistivity also in that. So I think that's the thing. And uh, chemical equations are also given. The temperature at which it works. Some formulas are given. You can use these formulas in your own script. And uh, um, trends and the patterns in which uh, something gets increased, temperature increases, or the uh, value decreases. Something it happens like that. Okay. So basically, I have to explain this one in resistive gas sensors. the last one is uh, found in page number 134 which is regarding liquid uh, conductive sensor okay so liquid conductivity sensors it uses liquid instead of gas and conductivity happens so some electrons pass from here to here the whatever the material you use it's aqueous solution it is conductive solution so many points are not like uh, very alien to us we already know many concepts right just going through it you will get to know many points in that see electrolysis happens without uh, looking this at all because it's the concept what is the main uh, thing obviously these things will be there right by common sense only you can write uh, a lot of uh, content regarding that fine <clears throat> and there's some formulas also make sure you uh, include the formulas in your answer script okay so that was about the uh, first module and make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel your support help me make uh, more videos like this thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one